All right, my friends, let's destroy some retirement fear porn, shall we? Uh, this just freaking infuriates me. So last night I put a uh, uh, link on my community tab about uh, this uh, article from Out Seeking Alpha. Retirement strategy is crunch time and you've been flying blind in retirement. And this guy, uh, he goes into why these couple are just, they're basically doomed and it, the whole thing is not. So we're going to go into this because it just infuriates me. All right, so the premise here is we have a couple... Uh, who have $30,000 of Social Security. All right. They have $150,000 in a savings account. No investments at all. $150,000 of savings. $250K in a, in a home equity, which is essentially paid off, is what this guy said. He said the mortgage is basically paid off. So I guess we'll just say it's paid off. He says it's virtually paid off. I don't know what that means, but I guess he has no mortgage. All right. But then he says they have... Uh, the couple are frugal and spend 58k a year. Now, how does he get that? Well, he gets that from the average. Uh, that's the average in America is 58,000 a year, <laughs> and he says based on an effective 20% effective tax rate, uh, 45,000 is the equivalent of 58,000 of gross income. Gross, and he's saying 45k net. So basically, we'll say 4K a month. It's, it's just as freaking stupid. So basically, saying the couple are frugal and spend the average of 58,000 net per year in total expenses. Based on 20% effective tax rate, 45,000 is the equivalent to 57,000 a year in gross income. That, that doesn't make any sense. That whole thing doesn't make sense. Does it say how many people have viewed this though? No, I can't see. But it has 250 likes. But it doesn't say how many people. Uh, but this guy has 68,000 followers, man. How many comments on here? Because this whole thing is just freaking stupid. I'm not even going to 323 comments. Nuts. All right. Anyway, so let's go into this. So first and foremost, if they have the... Uh, expenses are primary rule number one. Remember that. So we're going to dive into this first. But I just want to first and foremost show you. 30,000 Social Security. All right, well, let's just see how they get that. If they had the median household income, we're going to, for simplicity, say $60,000, all right? $60,000 is the median household income. And again, if you're not familiar with my stuff on Social Security, that's indexed for the average wage index. So we're going to say $60,000. Do they say what age these guys are? Um, he doesn't. We're going to say $60,000 is the... Uh, the median income over the course of their working career. So essentially, they've averaged $60,000 in, in uh, indexed earnings, if that makes sense. So we take $60,000, we times that by 35, and we take our trusty calculator, because we're going to figure out what their Social Security benefits first. Um, 60,000 times 35, we're going to get 2.1 million is their total index earnings. 2.1 million. Now we're gonna divide that by 420 because there's 12 months in 35 years to get our PI, to get our uh, average index monthly earnings. So we got two, one, divide by 420, and that gives us 5,000 is our AIME, our average index monthly earnings. All right, so the first 960, we times that by 0.9, and then the remaining of that, 5,000 minus 960 is 4,040. 4, so 4,040 would be times by 0.32. All right. So let's go into that. Sorry. Right, so bear with me just a second. I hope you're. I hope you're familiar with my videos on this, because uh, this is important to understand. This 864. All right. 864. And we got 4040 times 0.32. 1290. Eight. All right, 1298 plus 864 is 2150, uh, 2156. All right, 2156 times 12 is 25,000 bucks. We'll just say round up $26,000. All right, and if the spouse only worked half time, if the spouse didn't have any income on her own, we're going to have half that. So if there was at $13,000. 39,000. So right there alone, we have more than what he's saying for Social Security. Now, what if he took it early? All right, so if they took it early, and just for simplicity, we'll divide that. So if, he if they took it at 62 times by uh, 0.7, it'd be about $27,000 if they took it at 62, roughly. 
So I'm not sure if this is at full retirement age, 66 we'll say, and because they're already retired, that's at uh, 62. So I'm not sure where he's getting the 30,000 from. I bet he doesn't know either. He's just saying, probably, I, I don't know where he's getting it from. I, I imagine, actually I have no clue. Where does he get 30,000 from? If he doesn't may, we'll use that, but just first and foremost, can we get the freaking social security number right first and foremost? I mean, let's, let's actually go into this uh, social security information correctly. All right, so now, so we got, uh, we'll just use a $30,000 um, because we'll say they took it earlier or something like that. I don't know. And I mean, just this is why it's so stupid. But I just want to show you uh, 30000 for Social Security. It doesn't take much to have more than 30000 in Social Security. Even if they only average $60,000 as a uh, household income and only one worked, the husband worked and the wife didn't, and they, if they took it at uh, the early 62, they still get 27,000. That's probably the worst case scenario. So anyway, be doesn't make. All right, so now let's say they have $30,000 of income, all right? Uh, and now I don't know why he's saying this is net. It's not net because then he uses taxes. I don't understand that. It doesn't make any sense at all. So this is net. This is what they need after taxes, which is friggin' stupid. I'm gonna show you why. 58,000 a year is, is income. We're gonna go into 58,000 a year. Oh, it's 30,000 is social security. That means 28,000 is what they need. All right, 28,000 is what they need. So if they're taking it from a savings account, right, what's their tax bracket going to be? Well, it's going to be nothing. I'm just telling you right now. Why? Because this is cut. This has already been taxed. So there's no tax here. All right, nothing. And if you're ta if you're 30,000 dollars of social security is all you got, then it's not. I'm just telling you right now, it's not taxed. I'm not going to go into the uh, the uh, details here. It is simply not taxed. I've done 8,000 other videos to show you how, because this is after tax money, because social it doesn't flow to your 1040. It's a big fat goose egg on your 1040. It literally does not show up in your 1040, which means this right here, your social security is 100 free and clear of taxes. It's just that simple. I don't want to dive into that in this one, but just look at provisional income. So essentially, they got 58,000 tax free. But again, they only need 45,000. That's it. They need 45,000 bucks because he is saying 58,000 on a 20% tax effective tax rate, which is freaking stupid. They don't have a 20% a 20% effective tax rate. They got a 0% effective tax rate. Nothing. They pay no tax ever again because all their money is in a post tax account. So we're going to go back to 45,000 is what their expenses are, all right? So they got 30 they need 45,000 expense. <laughs> I mean, this is just so freaking, it's so easy for these guys to make it work. And I don't understand why the porn is uh, here that is just leading people to say, oh my goodness, I'm going to be destitute. It is just weird. All right. Now, this guy's even arguing that they should do buy two freaking uh, dividend stocks, which is nuts. And somebody else saying they should buy Bitcoin. All right. So we got 30,000 Social Security. We need 15,000. All right. That's our need. We got 150,000 sitting in cash, not making any money. That's fine. We got $250,000 home. All right. All right. Well, what, how we figure this out? Well, simple. We got 30,000 plus 15. Uh, we, if I mean, that's literally 10 years right there. That gives us 10 years without even touching the cash. But you got to worry about inflation. We're going to say they invest it in a Ginnie Mae, which keeps up with the rate of inflation, just for simplicity. So they invest this in the Ginnie Mae, 150. They'll pay them 2% a year. What's that? You know, 2500 $3,000 a year. It still won't be taxed. There's no tax there. So they pay no tax. So essentially, this cash will put in the Ginnie Mae, V-F-I-I-X, and that will equal inflation. So before you guys go, oh my goodness, they're not getting inflation adjustments. You know, they are. So they're going to get, uh, the cash will equal the GMA. So that give them 15,000 right there, 30,000 right there for 10 years. So they got their 45,000 net of taxes for 10 years. It's just 45,000 is what they need. It's basically 4,000 a month. All right. So 10 years goes by. And again, we started at 62. We took Social Security early for some ungodly reason. We started at 62. So now we're 72 years old. Oops, 72. Oops. All right, so we made it just fine with uh, for the first 10 years of retirement. But now we're 72, and presumably we still need, oops, all right, 72 years old, and presumably, so now we have what? Uh, we'll say 18-year life expectancy. I don't even think that, but we're just going to say that for simplicity. So we have 18 years left. 
All right, so now we're 72 years old. Uh, we have uh, no money. We have no money in cash anymore. This is gone. But now we have a house that's worth 250. We we'll appreciate that at 2% a year. And what is our house going to be worth? Because you see where I'm going here. And this is all without paying any taxes. We have two, 250 present value, 2% a year, 10 years, no payment. The house will be worth 305,000 at that point. 305. All right, so the house will be worth 305. All right, we're gonna take uh, a reverse mortgage against half of that right there. So we're just gonna use uh, Wade Fowles numbers, which are old, but uh, we're gonna use them anyway. Uh, my man Sergio uh, has told me that Wade Fowles numbers are, uh, are actually a little bit uh, antiquated in terms of it's actually better than what it was back then. So retirement, oops, retirement, oops, hold on a second. Retirement researcher. Let's use Wade Fowles reverse. So we'll go to retirement retirementresearcher.com. We're gonna to go to his resources and his reverse mortgage calculator. Um, I gotta get rid of that right there. Resources, reverse mortgage calculator. All right, so now we're gonna say we're gonna type in that their their house is appraised for three hundred and oh man, come on, wait, he's got these pop-ups. Uh ah. three hundred five thousand dollars. Oops. All right, we got cookies. I get it. Get it. Three oh five. Oops. Now it populates for us, so we got to back check. All right, so three oh five. These people, uh, we're gonna use a two and a quarter a lender's margin, a two point seven three ten year LIBOR, which I think is way low, but that is based on uh, that was updated three seven two thousand nineteen. That's not anywhere near what it is now. What is the ten year LIBOR now? Hold on just a second. 10 year LIBOR rate. Let's see what we got here. Uh, 10 year LIBOR, LIBOR, hold on just a second. I bet it's about half of what it was in 2019. Bear with me just a second. So we got a, all right, so uh, loading, loading, loading. Hold on just a second. And it's loading. So let's just say it's uh, right there. Uh, was that one point? Oh, 0. 0.698 is a 10 year. Is that the LIBOR? Yeah, okay. Well, there it is. That's the LIBOR, huh? LIBOR, LIBOR, whatever it is. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, 0. 0.68. All right. So there we go. 10 year LIBOR is 0. 0.68. Boink. All right. And we got 2.25 lenders margin. Uh, we are 60, we are 72, the youngest. All right, and we're gonna do the uh, origination fee. We'll say it's 2,000 bucks, just to give us something. And we're gonna say all the other closing costs are gonna be put into the loan. So we can get uh, 829 as a monthly payment, 829. So we have uh, eight, we have, 30, we have a $15,000 deficit. We have 30,000 from Social Security. We have a $15,000 deficit and we can get 829 from our reverse mortgage. That's 10,000 a year, all right? So minus 10 uh, from reverse mortgage and 30 from Social Security. That leaves us uh, with $5,000 deficit, 5,000 a year deficit. At the end of the day, um, don't forget too, by the way, that you're going to spend money as you, you're going to spend less as you age. So now that they're 72 years old, what is the likelihood that they're going to continue to spend 45,000 a year now that they're 72? I bet it's not very high. I mean, look, this is just silliness. We have done any planning at all. We're just using their numbers. 150,000 sitting in cash doesn't seem realistic. Uh, 250,000 mortgage that's paid off doesn't seem realistic. If they only have 150,000 sitting in cash, that's none, nothing invested. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, they got uh, 30,000 social security. That doesn't make sense. Uh, even that we have a $5,000 a year deficit once we're 72 years old. And that's with taking reverse mortgage to the rates that they are today. It can be done. It's easy, easy. Just some basic financial planning, man. So don't listen to the fear porn. I, I just, it drives me up the wall. All right, love to hear your comments. Thanks.